Welcome to Harmony's Dreadful Journey Through Horror. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see me more, then find me on Twitch where I stream most weekdays. Links in the description, and thank you for your time. Alright, what's up everyone? So we're back with uh, this again. Uh, this time I think I'm going to go head upstairs real quick. Ooh, there's a key here. We removed his tongue to save ourselves from judgment. We removed his eyes to save him from witnessing what we were becoming. Eh? What does that mean? We removed his tongue to save ourselves from judgment. We removed his eyes to save him from witnessing what we were becoming. That is the clue, and I suppose it has something to do with... Removed his eyes... A picture... Might have a clue. Or do they really? I don't, I'm not entirely sure. What the hell is this? I guess I have to find that. We removed his eyes. Is there another? No? I actually don't have a strong idea about what this clue could mean. Or if it's even in this, uh, room. What is this? The voice from heaven demands we kneel, but as long as we have feet, we dance. You no longer have feet. <laughs> that that was an easy one. Okay. I like how I solved that one immediately, but I don't even bother trying to fully figure out what this one could be. Uh, Wither Studios, touched by an outer god. The growth have invaded our world. Kill them, eat their flesh, become stronger. Hell yeah! And we get another comic- I didn't read the last comic page! No! You fool! Skip you. Skip you. That's what I keep coming back to. The return to normal. The sky was on fire. God knows what. Actually drove three miles to the next turnoff to get back on the southbound freeway. <sighs> because crossing over the middle was illegal at 3 a.m. with no other cars for miles. With the sky on fire. I was trying to call the entire time. I hadn't called mom yet to let her know I was going back to check on you. Get over it. It's not like I'm staying. Alive, dead, somewhere in between. I just needed to know. I didn't want to spend the rest of my life wondering. So I kept calling. And my phone died. Emptied by my persistence. I need to remind her that this wasn't all just a dream. There we go. Alright, now we're back on track. We're totally not back on track, but we're back on track, absolutely. Anyway. So let's uh let's get this game in. I don't wanna keep seeing you. No, we gotta go this way. No. No. There we are. Oh my god, I was right the first time. 
This is just going to get more and more complicated as time goes on, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a, in a couple seconds. Wither Studio presents Touched by an Outer God. It's been three years since the Grove invaded. Three years of struggling just to survive. My dad was made for this world. He's a Marine. He joined the Resistance early on and quickly made a name for himself. While he was off fighting, I hid away, praying for his return. I often felt like a burden, and that I should just give up. Let this hell we live in take my life, end the suffering. But he was always there to give me hope. Now, I don't know where he is. We were separated when the growth attacked our camp. He drove them away, sending me with him. I need to find him. Sweet. Ah, yes, touched by an elder. Bah. Touched by an outer god. I, I can only imagine. Jesus H. Christ. Hopefully that doesn't show up later. I can only imagine, you know, what, what being touched by an outer god is like. Choose your fate. Those who venture forth will only have one chance to survive and ascend to something greater. Barely human for those who want to enjoy the game with little to no hassle. The nameless. The standard experience. Enemies are tough, but fair. Or the call of madness. You love a challenge. You love the pain. Well, you know, I wouldn't exactly say I love the challenge or the pain, but uh, I, I I will say that this is this is the channel. This is the channel where I'm stupid and I pick the hardest difficulty I can each and every time for no reason other than I'm picking the hardest difficulty each and every time. I don't know why this started. Please help me. Also, remember, remember. This is the hard difficulty. Don't go complaining about no enemies now. I'm just, just waiting now. Skip, 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 skip. Dancing the worm. Dad? Dad? Hands? something over there, yeah? So I'm assuming I have to go through here. How am I the only one that sees how important this is? Well, let's go over the highlights. 1. When the growth appeared, the human population was drastically diminished. 2. The growth continued to multiply and quickly became the dominant species. 3. They kill humans on sight. 4. There's a rumor that they came from a massive explosion in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Five, we still don't know a goddamn thing about why they're here or what they want. Forgive me, but I have to leave. I have to find answers. Tats obsessed with studying the growth. Sounds like it's going to be his downfall. So the growth, Dad? yeah. So the growth attacked the camp. Still can't get into the building here. Those 
Over there? Cool. Which means I have to go this way. Hmm. This isn't the right way. Oh, it's not. At, le at, at, at least she says, you know, hey, this isn't the right way. I, I do enjoy a character who you're playing as says, well, I'm going the wrong way if I want to get to here. Because if they have any inkling of the area, they should have some indication that, you know, you know where you're going. I have a feeling a monster is going to spawn here later. It looks like you went this way. Okay, well, what's over here? I can't jump over that, really. Also, I don't know why. But I don't like how open this area is. Hmm. Feels like I'm gonna have to come back here later and get attacked by enemies. So, you know. Oh, there's footprints. Okay. How did I miss those before? Can I go back if I want? Nope. What the hell is that? Um. It's coming towards me. All right, time to run. Time to run. Time to run. Don't. What? That's gonna leave a scar. What do you mean that's gonna leave a scar? a scar all right <laughs> don't get caught up in his rhythm don't get caught up in his rhythm Your hunger. Starving all of a sudden. Why does this smell so good? Tab for upgrades. What? 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 Flesh one, bones one, sinew one. All right, so I can either get a blood cannon. Or a regenerate arm. Or a regenerate arm. What is... It's time to upgrade. All three upgrade types are randomized. Unlock. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, charge for an attack. Alright. So, we're going to... We're going to go with the blood cannon. Oh. Oh, so I just lose the other arm. Okay. I should have done regenerate arm. Feed your hunger.
Okay, so movement affects aim. Evidently. Oh, sweet. The blue boils are my health. muscles and shed excessive weight faster movement speed your powers Combust your hand ignites allowing for a chance to catch enemies on fire mutually exclusive oh it's mutually exclusive to the left uh let's do optimize oh okay okay yeah that's what they meant all right If I could get, like, a Gatling gun for a left, that'd be great. Nifty. Okay. Charge dash. Charge for a short time. Oh. So I only have enough for these. I need one more bone for that. Or I could do sniper. Or form a shielded exterior. Absorb damage and grow back after taking the Ooh. Oh, but that doesn't work, does it? Oh, is there stuff up there for me to get? Yeah, what is that? Munchie. Oh, that got me the bone I needed. Charge for a short period of time to dash into a nearby target for a powerful hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Poisonous fingers charged and I don't need a sniper. Let's, uh, skedaddle over here real quick. We've joined up with the Resistance. They've, they're small in number, but so is the human race. Soldiers have been searching for survivors out in Boston. They've gone on a few runs now. Slim pickings and skin freaks for miles. We found a group of eight survivors on the last one. Our numbers are growing. Nice, you must be real proud. Please just ow. Ah! Oh, I need to go this way, I need to. I don't like this boss. This boss throws projectiles at me. I'm good at running away. I'm not good at fighting. Oh, it's trying. Oh, wow. Is it smart enough to try and flank me? Oh, thank God it's dead. I'm dead. I guess the poisonous bullets would be, uh, wait, skip level one. Call of Madness. Dad? Oh, that's what it meant. Oh. Shit. That's gonna leave a scar. All right, I I'm going to skip ahead to the, uh, to any relevant bits. That's going to be what happens here. Sounds like I'm not
right, so give me a second. Give me a second here. So the power I got was, uh... The power I got recently was Rapid Fire, which is exactly what I wanted before. The, uh... You know, the super thing. However... So, this is clearly a roguelike game, which I'm not very good at, and I don't find very interesting half the time uh, to showcase too much, especially because I'm just going to be repeating levels every time I die. Although, poison bullets. Although, I feel like, now that I'm understanding this game a little better, I can talk about more about uh, what I really enjoy. I also haven't seen any eyes. Oh, I did pick up brains before. So I guess those are going to be for, like, rare upgrades that will appear. Eventually. Hold on. Although, now that I'm here to talk about stuff, I guess I am just going to be... You know, I have this hand to showcase what my health is, and that's about it. But I'm probably just going to be upgrading the arm over and over, because... I like that. I like that a lot. Double shot. An extra barrel forms on the end of your arm, allowing for additional bullets to release with each shot at the cost of weaker bullets. But since I just got bone shot... They're already... They're already stronger anyway. So I'm basically just adding more chance to poison and hit. Yeah. Danny, we have to leave. They're coming. I'm taking the kids to our special spot near the Blue Ducks we have there, so... I hope they're over. Granted, I should get Combustible Layer or... Uh, Latinus Layer or The Hand. You know, to just add to defense, since I am playing on madness mode, which... <laughs> oh, I'm doing exceptionally well, then. So, let me see, he did pick up a brain, but I need... Oh, I need so much just to upgrade dub for double shot. That's... that is fair. The growth appear to evolve rapidly. They are always changing, and it's difficult to track their variations over time. Their DNA is not far off from humans. Postulation. We can learn from the growth to discern their possible strategy for self-evolution. Even kind evolves as a species, we can reclaim our world. Maybe he was born to something. I... Your voice changed. Hmm. Do they not move if I'm too far away from them? They don't. When in doubt, cheese it out. Ooh, no. Today was hard. We lost three good ma men out of Salem, and that family we were trying to save. Only pieces of them left now. Wanted to crank the rage meter up to 11. Go back there and kick some growthy ass. Melissa calmed me down. She's my rock. I've gotten myself killed long ago. If it weren't for her, I won't let anything happen to her. Dad is a good man. Strong. Oh. She is getting more and more sick, isn't she? What is this? Sue, you weren't here. I've searched for a few days, but it's too dangerous to stay in this area. I need to keep moving. In case you find this, I'm going to look for that resistance camp we heard about. I think it's west of here, somewhere along 95. I love you. Tell our girls that Daddy hasn't given up on them. I pray you are all safe. Danny. Oh, Jesus, you are getting all kinds of fucked up, aren't you? Yeah, 
Yesterday was a rare, bright spot in the darkness of this world. Melissa and I went out for a fishing trip together. There were no growth by the lake for once. For a moment, I almost forgot the world had gone to shit. I'm luckier than most. Got a damn good haul of fish, too. Aw, that's sweet. Yes! Fish! What is this? He is the father we've been waiting for. God has come to save us from our pain and suffering. So clear now, the origin of the grove. He will be our savior. We've been fighting against salvation. We are blind to the truth. We must give in to the grove. Granted, I have such a regenerative ability that I don't think it really matters. Where'd he go? made that boss explode. <laughs> Plasma. Uh, I don't want triple shot, funnily enough. Plasma's good. I want perfect body. I've decided I need perfect body. Alright, so this looks like the end of the game. Uh... So it looks like I skipped over quite a few levels just because I did. Uh... I don't need this. Suck lead, you grody freak! <laughs> no, stop! Stop it! <laughs> oh god, you have the action hero left. Jesus. All right, this is, uh... Man, I feel like the final boss for somebody else's game. You can pick up health? I really am fighting a final boss of somebody else's game.
I hope this has something I need. It does. It does. I now have perfect body. It becomes perfect. How do you like having someone evolve in the middle of your fu- I'm- uh, I'm in my second stage of the boss fight! That's what it is! Oh, I killed him. Oh no! Wait! Oh no. Oh, wait. Wait, that was humanity's greatest toe. I killed. Uh. <laughs> Well, that was touched by an outer god. Uh, once again, I've gone over an hour. Uh, most of that's going to be cut. Uh, I hope... Ooh, whoops. I hope everyone enjoyed that, because uh, it, it is so fun being the eldritch abomination for once. Uh, that being said... That being said, I hope you all uh, like that. We'll, we'll be heading back over to the house, see if the guy's talking. If not, I won't add it in. Goodbye, everybody.